Okay, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a basic jewelry box. This is simply going to be two parts that will fit nicely together and you can store a decent amount of jewelry and or chocolate into. So it's going to be straightforward, good for gifts. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new part file. So go to new file right up here, new standard.ipt and double click on that. It's going to load you to a fresh canvas and let's go ahead and get started with the box. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to select my XZ plane over here and I'm going to draw out a rectangle like so simply by using the rectangle tool and we're going to dimension this. It's going to be a fairly small jewelry box but symmetrical. It's going to be three inches and then dimension to this side by three inches, like so. I'm going to finish my sketch, and now I'm going to extrude it. And I'm gonna extrude that also to be, let's say, 2.5 inches. So we have a nice 2.5 inches there. Hit OK, and we're looking at a pretty straightforward box. Now, we need obviously some space to put something into this box, so let's go ahead and use the shell tool located right over here. We're going to click on a portion of the box so that it actually creates an opening. If you don't, you're going to notice that around the box you can see the inside is being shelled, but there's no opening. So I'm going to click here, and when I do that, it's created an opening and also gives us the thickness of that outer wall. So right now it's 0.1 inches. I can change it to 0 0.2, 0 0.3, so on and so forth. Um, since we're going to be 3D printing these, or since you most likely will be 3D printing these, I usually have a rule not to go thinner than 0.1 inches if you want the part to have any like strength at all. So let's actually make this maybe point, let's say 0.2. Point two, that's going to give you a decent amount of space, but not fail um, in terms of structural integrity. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And we're going to now need to make like an internal opening on here. So go to Start 2D Sketch, click on this surface. And now I want you to use this button here called Project Geometry. And we're going to click on the outside of the box such that it creates a set of lines on the inside and on the outside. We're going to put a small offset from the inner line to about the outer line. And let's make that point 0, 8 inches, a very small amount. And we're putting a small amount there because we're going to put a lid on this box. I'm going to finish the sketch and we're going to extrude this out, this inner portion, by clicking on it, let's say 0.4 inches. Let's take a look at that. It's actually a lot more than I thought, so I'm going to make it 0.3. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. And now we have our box. And we also have a nice place for a lid. So at this point, what I want you to do is I want you to save your box somewhere. Save it somewhere where you're going to remember it, but go ahead, pause this video, and save this box. Okay, so hopefully you've saved the box. If you haven't, you definitely want to make sure that you are. Um, and the reason why And the reason why is because we're going to be using this box to make our lid, but in doing so, we're going to lose the box itself. So it's kind of a trade-off, but it's the most efficient way of doing this. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our lid. I want you to go to Start 2D Sketch, and I want you to kind of click on the surface that we clicked on before. I want you to do the project geometry thing like we did before, and that's going to be the outside of our box. So let me go ahead and finish that. Ooh, let's actually go back 
and I want you to do that also with this inner portion. So project geometry, this one as well. Okay, I think I've clicked on everything. Finish. So I should have three sets of lines. And let's go ahead, first of all, and cut this all out. So I'm going to go to extrude, switch it to my cut option. I'm going to cut out this entire box by clicking on those, running it through. And actually, I still have that lid there. So I'm going to do half and half, symmetric. And I'm going to cut the whole thing out. Boo. Everything's gone. Don't freak out. It's still here under extrusion 3 or whatever extrusion you did last. I want you to hit the plus, And then there's sketch 3. I want you to right click on that and go over to visibility. If you click on that, you have the sketch that was your lid. And now we're going to use this to make our lid. So I want you to work on the outside one. Uh, let's go ahead and extrude out this outside one. If you remember from before, we made the height of the box 0.3. So we're going to make this one 0.32. Just a little extra room. Um, this is going into a notion or something known as tolerance where if you want something to fit nicely, you got to give it a little extra space. Um, that's the basic principle of creating a tolerance of something or creating a tolerance. So there's that. That's looking pretty good. And I'm going to start a sketch now on this surface. I'm going to draw out a rectangle from one end to one end finish that and I'm going to extrude out this this is going to be the lid of the box and let's extrude it out point let's see point one eight inches okay so that's the lid of our box like so it has some decent thickness to it and that's looking pretty good okay lastly let's turn around to the bottom of our box if you don't know how I'm turning like this, I'm holding the shift key. And when I hold the shift key and click in the middle scroll wheel of the mouse, I can rotate. Um, I don't really rely on this thing a whole lot. Okay, I'm going to start a sketch on this surface. And I'm going to offset this line. Oh, they won't let me. Let me project that line first. Um, I'll just click on that. I'm going to offset this line an additional 0.02. Um, this is, once again, that tolerance thing I was talking about. We need to make sure that we have enough space between the outer and inner surfaces, or outer or inner parts, or else once you put this box together, if you didn't put a little bit of extra wiggle room in there, it's going to jam up, and you won't be able to open the box again. And I'm going to extrude out this middle portion as a cut, and I believe we said 0.32. Perfect. So I hit OK. That's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to hide this sketch here. It's in the way, so um, it's easy to find. You just go over your sketches until it lights up on your screen. You right click and you turn the visibility off. OK. And last but not least, we can put a custom message on the top. So I'm going to start a sketch on the top of this box. And I'm going to write myself a message or a message so I could be like, happy. Mother's Day. Yay. Like that. Um, I'm going to hit OK. And we can see right away what it looks like. Um, I'm going to use the rotate tool over here to actually rotate center point here. And I'm going to spin that around um, to see what the message looks like. It's a little small right there. So I'm going to double click on it. If you want to change the size, be sure you select the words first. And then you change the size. If you just change the size but don't like do anything with the words, then it's not going to show up correctly. And that's looking better, but I kind of want to center that. So I'm going to select it, go to center. OK, there we go. So there's my little message. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I'm just going to try to center it by eye so that looks about correct. I'm going to finish my sketch. And now we're simply going to go to extrude. And I'm going to click on the letters. 
And because we want to probably print it like this down to up, we're not going to actually extrude out the word Happy Mother's Day. We're simply going to cut it into the part. Hit OK. And now we have a little nice message that's going to be written on the box. Like so. Okay, so we have our two parts. Everything looks good. If you'd like, you're more than welcome to, you know, adjust the colors of the parts that you make. So maybe you wanted this to be red and the other one not to be red. Um, let me actually save this as the lid box. Um, but you might want to see if it goes together, which is really easy to do. We just need to go ahead and create a new assembly file. And we go to place, and I need you to go over to what you created. So look for your two parts. Here's my box. And then we need to also place the lid of the box. So what a box. These are my two portions. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to go with constraint over here. And I can do some simple constraints. Um, I'm going to, let's say, mate this surface with this surface. Oh, wow, that was a perfect fit. Um, and I'm going to put a small offset of 0.02 negative 0.02 because of the tolerances. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. Or actually, let's keep this zero. I'm thinking about something else. Apply. Uh, I'm going to flush these two surfaces. And this is where... Actually, that's perfect. Uh, I don't think we need any offsets. Okay. So there's what the box currently looks like, but it's going to fit. It's got a nice message on it, um, and it should open up just fine. And we can also do in here, I can go to inspect. I can go to analyze interference, which is going to tell me if there's anything interfering between these two parts. And if I click on both of them and hit OK, boom, there was no interference detected, meaning that we designed this part perfectly. It should work perfectly if you print it. So. That's going to pretty much conclude this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know or let your teacher know. And I'm sure that we can figure it out. Okay. I will, I guess, see you later or not really. But have fun, you guys. Peace.